Hey everyone, it's Flackfire. It's been an eventful last few weeks for the Battlefield series. Developers released the final DLC for Battlefield 1, and it looks like it's full speed ahead to the future of the franchise. EA has already confirmed a new Battlefield game is due out in October of this year, and DICE's media production guru Randy Evans recently posted to Twitter that the reveal trailer for the new game is now in the works. It's likely we'll get our first look at Battlefield 2018 at or just before EA Play, which is slated for June 9th to the 11th. There's plenty of chatter on YouTube about where Battlefield will take us in 2018, but most of the rumors are off the charts on the BS meter. So let's take a look at the top six potential settings for the next Battlefield game. These are in no particular order, but some of them may surprise you. First up, there's a solid chance the Battlefield franchise heads back to Vietnam. Battlefield merely scratched the surface of the setting in 2004 with Battlefield Vietnam, and there was, of course, the expansion pack to Battlefield Bad Company 2 in 2010. It'd be great to see the setting brought to life on current hardware. Many players have fond memories of piloting Hueys to the sound of CCR and playing on maps like Operation Hastings. Vehicular gameplay would also be significantly more complex, and the weapons and hardware would seem fresh. Vietnam also has a wealth of untapped storylines that could translate well into formerly untold single-player experiences, and that's something that worked effectively for Battlefield 1. The second is Bad Company 3. It's been eight years since the release of Bad Company 2, and I feel that series is well overdue for a sequel. Longtime players love the Bad Company crew, the situations they wind up in, and how rarely they take anything seriously. It would be a nice change of pace coming off of Battlefield 1's gritty Apocalypse DLC. The Bad Company series has a cult following, so from a financial standpoint, it's probably a safe bet for EA. By that same point, Battlefield Bad Company 3 would have to measure up to the previous games in terms of its single-player experience. This would be a departure from the popular War Stories format used in Battlefield 1 and would pose some significant writing challenges. Multiplayer for the game would likely be set with current generation tech, bringing back extensive weapon customization and vehicles not possible with a historical Battlefield title. On top of all this, there is an Easter egg in 2016's Mirror's Edge Catalyst, which features the Bad Company squad bickering with each other, so we know EA has been in touch. Third is one that might surprise you, the Spanish Civil War. Just like World War I, the Spanish Civil War from 1936 to 1939 is one that has been overlooked by major video game developers. It is, of course, largely overshadowed by World War II in popular culture, but it effectively set the stage for that conflict. Volunteer forces from all over the world met on the battlefield in Spain, and the world witnessed the power of modern machinery and tactics for the first time. Germany used the conflict to test early Panzer designs, Stuka dive bombers, and Heiko 111s. The lessons they learned there would serve them well just a few years later. Interestingly, an intern at DICE posted some concept art a few months ago showcasing partisan factions that fought in the Spanish Civil War. This setting presents DICE with an interesting opportunity to essentially tell World War II era stories without telling the same stories we've seen again and again in video games. Fourth is a Battlefield game set in a modern universe. Like Battlefield 3 and 4, a game set in this time frame would give players digital access to the latest and greatest in military technology, bringing back helicopters, advanced armor vehicles, and cutting-edge prototype weapons. This setting would also give DICE a blank slate in terms of the game's single-player experience. Developers wouldn't be bound by any setting to create a compelling narrative. It's been five years since the release of Battlefield 4, and many players are anxious for a return to modern combat. Next, of course, is World War II, what used to be Battlefield's bread and butter. The conflict was featured in Battlefield 1942, Battlefield 1943, and even a single-player mission in Battlefield Bad Company 2. The last time the series saw a fully-fledged World War II game was nearly a decade ago in 2009, so 
it might finally be time to return to Fortress Europe. However, this would put DICE on the heels of Call of Duty, which also returned to its historical roots. If the Battlefield franchise travels back to World War II, I don't want to see overdone settings like the Normandy landings or the Battle of the Bulge. I think there are plenty of other compelling battles that haven't been brought to life in video games, and I think the obscurity of battles featured in Battlefield 1 really helped broaden that game's appeal. And last, and my personal hope here, is the Korean War. This conflict is called the Forgotten War for a reason, and it checks all of the boxes that made Battlefield 1 a massive success. It's not discussed often in popular culture, it's never been done by a AAA video game developer, and it could feature quite a few weapons and vehicles unfamiliar to fans, like the experimental model 45A. On top of all this, a Battlefield game set in the Korean War would also bring some iconic weapons, as much of the fighting was done with existing World War II inventory. If DICE continued the War Story route for the single-player experience, the Battle of Incheon, the Battle of Chosin Reservoir, or the Chinese Spring Offensive would all be excellent locations. DICE could even focus on the Air War, which featured the first air-to-air -air combat between jet fighters. Battlefield 1 has shown unknown settings can pay off big, making it more likely for EA to take a chance on the Forgotten War as a location for the next game. Of course, there is one major roadblock to Battlefield The Forgotten War, and that would be the politics surrounding modern-day North Korea. So, what do you think about these potential locations? And where would you like the next Battlefield game to be set? Tell me in the comments. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like and check out all of the channel's social media links, including Patreon, Facebook, and Twitter. You'll find those in the video description. Also, make sure to hit the subscribe button and the bell to get notified on the latest videos. To take your Battlefield 1 game to the next level, check out the Battlefield 1 Ultimate Utility app with a link in the video description. As always, thanks for watching.